Hello everyone, welcome to Cooking Hub's coding class. Modern text editors, they're full of lots of useless features like syntax highlighting, autocomplete, automatic indentation, linting, a GUI, keyboard shortcuts, the ability to see a file and edit it at the same time. Come on. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the only text editor that has just what it needs, Ed. So, I'm going to just open up Ed, and when it opens, it's just that there's just nothing there. So, the first thing you got to do, I'm just going to write hello world in C, is press A. And that command lets you add text. So, we're going to just do void main. Print F, hello world. And then when you're done inputting text, you press the period key, press enter a couple times, and you're good. Now, how do you see what you typed? Oh yeah, the period has to be on a new line, by the way. So that you, you can still end lines with dots if you want. To see what you typed, you can press P to view the current line, or which is, in our case, the last line. But if you want a line number, you can press N. We'll see this is line 3. If you want to see all the lines, percent P or percent N to see them with line numbers. Now, to write this file, press W, space, and then the name of the file. So I'm going to just do hello.c, enter, and it'll give you a little number there. Not sure what the number means, but it doesn't matter. It wrote the file. So let's do Q, and we'll do gcc hello.c oh yeah we made a whole bunch of mistakes so let's go back to ed ed hello.c and oh that's interesting it's the same number maybe that's got something to do with the file size or something i don't know anyway crlr lines notice there's a few problems first of all we did not include the standard library and second of all there is no semicolon after hello world. I mean, after the, the the print thingy. Also, there's no indentation. I mean, that doesn't really matter, but to make it look nice, we can indent it. So, first things first, let's import the standard library. To do that, you just do 1a. 1 means line 1, and a means add. And you just do include sddio.h, not dot g, dot h, dot and now we can do percent n see our program and we made a mistake again we added on line one when we should have actually added on line zero my mistake so to fix this we simply do 2d which d stands for delete deletes line two do percent n we're back where we started back to square one and just do 0a include cdio dot h dot and then percent n oh yeah I accidentally did two new lines before the period so there's an extra line we can do 2d again And that's fixed. Now, let's add a semicolon at the end of line 3. Now, you can't insert on a line in Ed. You have to edit the entire line. So, to do this, we do 3C. C stands for change. And 3 is the line number, of course. We could also do 3, which would take us to line 3, and then just type C. This also works. Then you just have to retype what you want on that line. Printf, hello world and add a semicolon at the end of that. And now, percent %n. Oh, I think, I think you do have to do a dot at the end of this. Yeah, percent %n. I accidentally did that, so 4d, percent %n. There we go. But there's still no tab at the beginning. So let's do this again. 3c, tab, 
print f hello world and then dot percent n and now there's an indentation now we can do w again which will write it to that file and q now we can do gcc hello.c and dot slash out right that's the default i i didn't do a deco which is what i usually do and look it works hello worlds but there's a typo so we go back to ed hello.c we do three we do c we do print f hello world we do w oh wait no we don't do w we do dot and then we do percent n and we do 4d we do percent n again and there we go but i forgot to tabulate so we do 3c we do tab print f hello world semicolon dot percent n and finally the program is exactly how we want it so we do w then q and now gcc hello dot c dot slash a dot out hello world no typos so as you can see the ed text editor is extremely intuitive and really it has all the features you need i mean it edits text you can move lines up and down i didn't demonstrate that in this video but you can do it you can use regexes to find stuff and replace stuff that I also didn't cover, but you can do it. And it's really, it's a powerful tool for editing text efficiently. And I don't see why anyone would use anything that came after it. It's just, it's a waste of, of resources. Why would you make a tool to edit text when there's already a perfect one there? It It's wonderful. So I'm going to be using Ed to edit every single bit of code that I write and you should too so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and remember not to fix anything when you can just throw it away and buy a new one